Hi, I'm Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook, and today I want to talk about the value of fixtures. There's an old saying in the machine shop world that the real money is made from having great fixturing. If you're good at making fixtures that save time, you'll turn a bigger profit, is so the saying goes. But is that really true? Does every job benefit from fancy fixturing? Let's dig in and find out. If we look at the various ways fixtures can reduce costs, we see these kinds of things. The right fixtures reduce setup time. If you can drop a fixture right onto a fixture plate, right onto the pins, you save the time you'd spend tramming the fixture. It winds up at a repeatable location. You may not even have to set part zero either. That may already be in a work offset on your machine. That's definitely going to result in reduced setup time. You may reduce the time to load a raw workpiece and the time to unload parts, for example, with pallets and a pallet changer. Most of the loading there can be, ha can be done while the machine is running. Here's another way to reduce costs. Fixtures often allow greater parts density. That means more parts per run, and since more parts are being made in a single cycle, the cycle takes longer. So. The machine operator may be able to tend to more machines or perform other valuable tasks during those longer cycle times. Now, if you're running more parts per setup, you can also program the job so that each tool change takes care of every part before you go on to the next tool. The value is you have to do fewer tool changes for a given number of parts, and so over the course of making all those parts, you'll save quite a bit of tool change time. All of this leads to reduce machine idle time and moving jobs more quickly through your shop. And that can mean you need fewer machines and employees to get a given volume of business done. That all sounds great, right? So let's ask ourselves again, do you always need a fixture? Well, you got to look at the cost of a fixture. You got the time to build the fixture and you've also got the cost of the fixtures, components and raw materials. So from that, when do fixtures make sense? And the answer is pretty simple. It's when their savings outweigh their costs. Now, you can use our fixture calculator to decide when those savings outweigh the costs. So let's check out the CNC cookbook fixture calculator. It's pretty cool. Here it is, <clears throat> our CNC cookbook fixture calculator. Now, now, before I go on, the fixture calculator is available on our website, and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video so you can get your own free fixture calculator to use in your own work anytime. Just be sure you watch the video all the way to the end when I'll give the link. I also want to give a special shout out to Dave Bishop from Mighty Byte. Dave gave me a lot of great ideas to add to the original fixture calculator. And Dave and the folks at Mighty Byte have probably forgotten more about fixturing than most of us will ever know. Thanks for the help, Dave. Okay, let's start with a simple example. I'm going to just key it in right here so you can see how it works. Suppose we need to make 5,000 copies of a part, and we have a choice. We can either use two vices on the machine and make two parts a cycle, or we can do a custom fixture, hold it down with some Mighty Byte clamps, and do eight parts per cycle. Let's go through and compare these two scenarios. Okay, so let's say it takes us eight hours to build our fixture. We'll put that in there. You wanna be conservative when you estimate how long it's gonna take you to build a fixture, because it's a one-off, and it often takes a little bit longer than you'd expect. Next, Let's say it takes five minutes, both for the vices and the fixture, to get them trammed in and installed on the machine. And let's set the load and unload time uh, on this thing to be five minutes. And we'll do that both for the vice and for uh, the fixture itself. Now, number of parts per run. I can stick two parts because I've got two vices sitting on the machine table. Or I can put eight parts into our custom fixture okay 
And let's see, we need to estimate how long it'll take to run a single part. Let's say our CAM software tells us it's 20 minutes, so that's the same in both cases. Um, so our total runtime, by the way, uh, we got two parts here, so it's 40 minutes with the vices, and it's 160 minutes uh, with the big fixture plate. Okay, lastly, uh, we said we were going to make 5,000 of these parts. So let's go ahead and put uh, 5,000 in on both sides. And now we can start to get an idea of what's going on. We're going to need to do 2,500 runs. So we're going to be pushing that green button 2,500 times for the vices, 625 times uh, with our big fixtures, uh, carrying eight parts a run. Uh, here's your total machine time. Total machine time was set up with build time, your operator loading time. Uh, in total, it looks like our total time savings here, 24, 510 minutes, is over 400 hours to make these 5,000 parts. So if we put in an hourly billing rate for our shop, I'm going to use $80 here. That suggests that, uh, let me just get this moved up so you can see what's going on. I think it slid off the bottom of the screen here. That suggests we can save $32,000 by building this fixture. Okay, that is yeah, really worth it to build a fixture for this job. Now, let's say the customer's uh, going to be making uh, some repeat parts here. And uh, so we don't have to build a new fixture each time. Uh, we can just click the repeat button. And, you know, we, we've already got the fixture made for future orders. So we do pretty well. We save even more, $33,000 uh, on the future runs. I've also got buttons here. I'm going to go put the build time back instead of doing the repeat run. So we can see what it looks like if we're using a fixture plate and we can just drop our vices or our fixture onto a, a set of pins on our fixture plate and save the setup time. And I've also got a button to save the loading unloading time if we have a pallet changer. So all in all, you have what you need to compare a lot of different uh, fixturing scenarios and see where you're gonna save. Now, we saved a lot of money on this big job, but what if we're doing a lot smaller job? What if we're only gonna make 100 parts? Let's go ahead and plug that in. If we make 100 parts here instead of 5,000, okay, we see that our savings has gone down actually quite a bit. It's now only about 100 bucks. And in fact, if we make uh, 50 parts, right okay now we're losing money so what we take away from that is you really need to know where your break-even point is uh, when you're gonna build a fixture when do you make your money back you know are you gonna have repeat orders do you have the chance to maybe amortize the fixture costs over more than one order uh, do you have uh, modular fixturing with a fixture plate so you can save on setup do you have a pallet changer all of these things go into figuring out what your savings will be when you build a fixture. So now you know how to figure that all out. You've got the free fixture calculator. Oh, here we go. Let's make sure we give that to you. Uh, here's your link. You just go to the CNC cookbook site and put in, you want to go to the free fixture calculator page. And you'll be able to pick up your own uh, fixture calculator to use anytime you want. Thanks for listening. Uh, be sure to check out the CNC cookbook site. And I'll be back at you soon with another video.